Okay, YouTube. This is my next project. It's a 2000 Monte Carlo. Look like it has some sort of can on it at first. I don't know if it's candy concentrate or urethane. I doubt if, if it was urethane because it's starting to fade at the top. There's some streaks right here. But it's fading pretty bad. Uh, also right here. Look like they locked the keys in the car and tried to get in and damaged around here with a screwdriver or something. I'm gonna have to do something with it. And the interior is in pretty bad shape. I'm gonna have to replace all it. And then the door jams look like well, they ain't even the color of the car, they like red with gold flake in it. But they didn't sand it down, the paint wasn't sticking, so I'm gonna have to probably sand all this down to the factory paint just so I won't have to go through the problem of painting and then the paint peeling up and I ain't got no solid foundation so I'm gonna sand it down to the factory and uh it's chipped up right here I'm gonna straighten it out it's a little crack right here I think this might be bundle but I'm gonna fix it then around here they had painted this and it chipped up I've been trying to get it all up I'm gonna have to get all that up but the car it was the front quarter panel was wrecked when I first got it I done replaced it I replaced it about a week after I had it so I ain't got to worry about it but all in all the car it ain't got really no body work just a few dings and dents that I'm gonna take care of. so it shouldn't take me no time on the body work and uh twin solid and a few more guys was asking me how the outside of my booth look so I'm gonna show y'all the well I'm gonna show you the inside first show you my compressor and my pipe and how I got it ran This is my compressor here. This is a 240 volt, 60 gallon. I got it from Home Depot. But uh, I got the pipe coming out. I got a little flex line here. I just cut an old hose out so the flex so it won't, you know, vibrate the piping on the wall. And I got it going up and coming back down. I got a drain right there and back up. You always want to run your pipe going up here and at a slant. So, if you do got water in your system, well, which you're going to have it in your system, but the water drain back down away from, you know, from your regulator. It's going up right here. Then I got another drop down here. There's plenty of water in it right there. You ain't gonna get all the water out, all out your system. So you are gonna just try to get as much as you can until it gets to the filter. Got it going all the way down there. You might can't see it, but it's another drain right there. Then it's going back up here. It's like a slant right there. Then it's dropping down again. Got another drain here. It's going back up, back up again, going over and dropping back down into the regulator. I'm going to take you inside and show you that. It's pretty junk in here too because, uh, well it ain't that junk, but I ain't been in here since I put the car back together. But it's coming out right here. I got it from Harbor Freight and this from Harbor Freight. I recommend it because I haven't had any problems with water in my system and this is my uh, ex exhaust fans got one at the bottom and at the top I got it out of central air air unit where well, one of them came out of, out of central air unit one of them was like a shop fan I took apart and boxed it in and uh, I'm gonna show you this here this is some clear some clear I had that I mixed up 
and didn't use it all. I wasted all that clear, but it didn't harden up. It's like a block. <laughs> Pretty good clear. Um, this is where I get my fresh air at, right here. Pull it through here, and exhaust out right there. Well, you can tell where I added on right here. It used to end here. I added this part on. Just so I can pull the whole car in. Well, I, I could pull the whole car in at first, but I would have had to take either the front or the back bump off because I couldn't walk around the whole car. So I decided, you know, in order for me to paint it right, to leave, you know, try to leave everything up with a bump on, especially paint candy because you don't want to paint pound at a time because the color can change uh, I'm going to take you outside and show you how the outside look you can see where it used to stop right here see that's what I added on that part there well, when I first moved here about, uh, well, I, about eight years ago, it used to be a concrete slab and it was framed up, but it didn't have no side on it. So I went and bought some OSB and put OSB all the way around it. And it was already done. I was just using it for storage, the whole shed. But this here, I just did it right before I painted the car. But this is where I put my filters in. I put them in from the outside. I just set them up in here. And once you cut the exhaust on, it's going to pull and the fan. The filters ain't going to uh, come out. I just got some pink board right here. Just to cover it up. I got some hinges. Here, the door, it's swaying open. It's framed in and swaying open. Both of them swaying open. I'm going to show you the exhaust the back of it this both exhaust they work good there ain't very much paint out here and on the uh, the compressor setup the piping I got my idea from CJ from Countryside Y'all need to check this channel out because that's where I got my idea from. And I recommend it because I ain't had no problems at all with water in my system. So go on Countryside CJ and check his channel out. And he can show you more detail of doing it, of wiring it up and running your piping. He got a video specific on that. So if you have it in there, you know, if you want to run your compressor and you wonder how to do it, just check Countryside Club out. And uh, I don't even got this one wired up yet. I just wire it up when I get ready to paint. I got to run into the house. The house about 100 foot from here, so <laughs> I just wire it up when I get ready to paint. I got this little small compressor here. I use it. Maybe I want to air up a tire or paint well spraying primer you know it don't really matter about primer but that's about it and uh gonna get out here and find these dings and dents and hopefully I start priming today I just wanted to give y'all an update what I'm gonna do now thanks